Hello, everybody. This is Michelle Litwiller. It is Wednesday, December 12th, um, and it is just after 8 p.m., and I'm here for your weekly Facebook Live. Um, so my son had a basketball game tonight, so we just got home a few minutes before 8, and I had to hook up everything. So I hope that um, some people will join me. Um, tonight we're going to be learning about blender pens. Um, this is a blender pen um, right here. And um, I have several different ways how you can use a blender pen. So um, that's what we're going to be going over today. Um, just a few quick reminders. It is December. And so... Um, the end of the year. Um, I have, if anybody would like to, to purchase any gift certificates um, to use for product or classes for um, your friend, yourself, um, sisters, um, moms, aunts, um, whomever, um, your friends, or your husbands or spouse or children, um, you can give them my number or my um email and they can contact me to purchase those still for Christmas. They make great Christmas gifts or they can be used to attend any of my events. Um, the other thing is, is I posted on my Facebook page and group that um, the bingo has officially been posted. So if you would like to attend one of my live bingos, I offer two, January 4th and January 5th. Um, here in Davison, Michigan. Um, they, the last four have sold out. So um, be sure to go to my um, Facebook, or not my Facebook, you can go there, or on my website, um, owlstarstampers.com, click on my events, and you will see the bingo listed there, and all my classes for January, so you can register for those. Okay, um, if you would like to order anything, there is a, uh, there's a last, not last chance, but um, a lot of the holiday products are um, retiring and several are on sale. So you can uh, go online and you can shop and use that code and uh, get those. Okay, blender pens. That's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways how you can use these blender pens and why you need them. And by the way, um, these would make a great stocking stuffer. Just saying. Okay, let's flip the camera and uh, we'll get started doing some blender pen stuff. So yes, please say hi when you hop on. Hi, Karen. Um, it is uh, nice to see everybody. Um, a few people joining on. Um, and yes, and thank you for sharing, Linda, and please share if you if you don't mind. Okay, so one of the um, basic ways to use a blender pen um, is, I, 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 of course I grabbed a brand new um, ink pad, and so I'm opening it up right now. Um, it's real red. Um, I brought a Christmas stamp over to use tonight. We're going to be using this stamp set, Timeless Tidings. This stamp set um, is also retiring and it went with that uh, kit, the card kit, a beautiful card kit. It kept going, um, kept going on back order, but the stamp set that coordinates with it is awesome. It has beautiful sentiments and then it has this holly and this poinsettia and this cute little tree. So this is a stamp set. I'm going to be using today, and I'm going to be using a stamp I have never even used, the holly, or the poinsettia, and we're just going to take this off here, and whenever, um, and then we're going to just stamp this directly onto Whisper White in uh, our Real Red ink. So one way to use this is the way I'm about to show you. I'm just going to stamp this up here on the Whisper White, just like this. Now I used, I used the blender pen in my class recently and a few people um, didn't know what they were or how to use them because we have the amazing Stampin' Blends, which I love. Don't get me wrong, these are probably my favorite, but um, the blender pens are amazing too. So let me let me show you why. 
Um, these come in a package of three. You get three of these. They're double-ended, and they're $12. They're only $12. And what's cool is you can use them with any color or several colors. Uh, you don't need, like, one for each, each color anyway. So what you do is I stamped this in red. And you see that really good? And now we're just going to pull the color from the side to um, fill in um, this flower. So you can pull the color that you stamped on because this ink is water-based. So um, that's why it will pull the color in. And you can do this with obviously any stamp that you would that you would color in. Um, and this is one way that you can do it, just using the line from your actual stamped image. Now we did this with the reindeer and colored in his antlers. But do you see how it, it has like, it's probably hard to see, but it, it gives it a soft, a soft look. Um, so that is one way. So now my flower isn't white. It is a light red from doing it that way. So now that I'm done with this color, like I said, you can use the same blender pen over and over. I just have a scrap piece here. I'm just going to lightly um, scribble till it's clear. And now I can go on to my next color. Um, I don't have my chamois, so I'm actually going to clean off my stamp here. Okay. Whoops, now I dropped my stamp. Let me grab my stamp. Okay, the next way you can use a blender pen is by... Um, we're going to use some stays on black ink because, uh, and I did bring my reinker because I haven't used this in a while. I've been using, I like the memento because that's what you use with our Stampin' blends, the alcohol markers. So for, um, for this, you're going to use the stays on. And I always recommend when you buy an ink pad, you always buy the refill, so then if it ever goes dry, or you're, you're set and good to go. So, always get the refill. It's only like, what, $3 or something, usually more. And then your ink pad will probably last virtually a lifetime. Okay, so I'm just inking up the same stamp, and I'm going to stamp it right here. And it is in the stays on. And then... We're going to color it in with red again, but we're going to use the red ink pad. So how we're going to do that is you take your ink pad and you're going to like try to squish it, like squeeze it. I'm just squeezing it. I haven't really done this with my new ink pad. So hopefully when I open it, there's ink on the lid. My, yep, see that? So now we have a, a color palette right there. So I'm going to make sure my um, up here, yep, it's clear. So I'm going to come in here with this color, pick up some color, and start coloring in um, this the poinsettia with this. Now you can see this has a really um, like a, a a strong color, but the long if I let it go a little bit more, it, it fades. It gets a little bit lighter. Um, I do want to say that if you go over the same spot a lot your paper can um, kind of not get so smooth. It kind of like, I don't know the word, but if you go over and over and over a lot, it will, it can kind of damage your paper. So just uh, don't keep going over the same area or try to avoid doing that, or you'll find out what I'm talking about if you do do that. But anyway, I'm not going to color in this whole flower, but you, I'm sure you get the idea. But this um, is another way you can color in um, some of your stamped, your images that need to be colored. And again, if you just let it go, it just gets lighter and lighter, kind of like a little ombre. And I will pick this up so you can see it better. But before I do, I want to clean my, um, my blend. So you're just going to take, you know, your scrap. And you're just going to lightly go back and forth, and eventually it's going to go clear. And then I know I can use the same tip in, in a different color if I would like. So see, I just scribbled it out till it went clear. Now it's good to go. And let me show you what my 
my flower look. It's really, um, can you see that? So focus, come on, focus. There we go. So here's where I was kind of letting it run out some. So it got a little bit lighter, but this is what it looks like using it directly from the top of the ink pad. So this is just pulling the color from the side. Here we, we stamped it. You're going to want to use stays on and then, um, cause stays on won't make it bleed or blend. And then you just can color it in. Okay. Another way we can, um, use, um, use our, our blends stamp or our blender pen, not our blend. Sorry. They sound so similar. I don't mean to confuse you. Who has blender pens out there? If you're watching this and you have blender pens, um, let me know. So the other thing is you can stamp this and then you can take our watercolor pencils and these come in, you get 13 different colors. So I'm going to find the, they do coordinate with our Stampin' Up! colors. This one is real red. So you can take this and you can color in your um, stamped image. And I mean, you can leave it just like that with the pencil. But what I like to do is after you've colored in your, your, um, your image, you... Take your handy dandy blender pen and then you, um, I'll see if I can show you before. Here's what it looks like before. Like you can see kind of like, um, some lines and, uh, this, if you go in with here, it just kind of smooths it out and gives it a more like smooth color look. So I do um, use, recommend these with the, um, with the watercolor pencils. And you can also pull that color into like, uh, into the other areas as well. So this is another way. If you want it darker, you just go over it, do another layer, and then you can pull your blender pen and color it color it again and see there's still color in there so I just went to the next side and anyway there's another way um I have one more way and I want to show you it but I have to grab something I forgot so let me grab my marker so um here I have my uh stamp and write markers um now again these are our water-based markers and so, um, one way you can use them is if we, um, stamp this flower again, we're done with the watercolor pencils, like, cause you can, you know, color it however you want. So say you don't have an ink pad, you don't have a real red ink pad, then, um, but you have the marker. So another, and maybe you want a little bit of a softer look, um, darker than this, but not as dark as this. So you can, and you have the markers, the Stampin' Write markers, um, cause these are water-based. You can take an acrylic block and you can just, um, scribble some ink on there. I don't know if you can see, it's, there's like a glare, but I'm just scribbling a little bit of ink on there and then you can take your clear pen and you can pick up some of this ink just right from the block, kind of like how we did with the ink pad and the lid. And then you can also um, color in that flower. And it's going to give it a little bit more of a softer, um, not as vibrant or bold look. So these are just some different ways um, if you are wondering why why would you need this well the, these are uh, several different ways on why you would need that so um, this is another way something else I just thought of as I was doing this is a way I know I use my Stampin' Blends Stampin' Up Blender Pen oh my word I keep I will say it right one time 
um, is if I have, I have this, uh, this sentiment and it's really pretty and there's a lot of words on it and say I want to stamp that, um, I want the words in two different colors. So one fast, uh, this is the sentiment I have right here. So if you stamp it in red, say you want red, but I don't want the joy in red. I want to like kind of like erase that. You can take your blender pen, I said it correctly, and you can use it to remove that ink. Um, so I'm going to remove that ink on the joy. So I think it's all cleared off now. See, it's on my pen. So now I could actually go and uh, color this in if I wanted to. Because it did. It removed, it removed all the ink there. And say I'm going to like, you're going to want to clean that off. And then I want to I actually a green. So I'm going to come in with my, um, I think this is shaded spruce. And you're going to color with the brush tip the joy. And then you're going to huff on it. And then when you stamp it, um, you have your two different colors. So it can also remove the color off of a stamp for you uh, pretty quickly and just like that. So there's another way and how to use this. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, something else about these plant, these uh, stamp in the blender pens, they will, um, your tips could stain and that's okay as long as they, um, like this one will probably be a little red. But as long as you uh, rub out the color and it goes clear, you can go right into the next, um, the next, like if you're using the ink pad or whatever. Um, yeah, there is something in here. I'm not sure what because it's wet. Like, I mean, there's some type of something in here. They can dry out over time um, and you will have to replace them. My first set of blender pens um, lasted me quite a while. Now that I use them in classes and, and different things, um, you know, I go through them more often, but they will last you quite a while and, um, they're, they are double ended. So you can use either end. Um, say if you're doing a bunch of, a bunch of the same cards and you're using the same colors or you're not using the same color, you're using two different colors. You can use like this end in the red and this end in yellow. And then when you're all done, you can like scribble them out to clean them out. So that's what's nice about having the two different ends. And again, you get three in a package for only $12. And there are, again, several, several different ways you can use them with the ink pads or, you know, the markers or the watercolor pencils. And when I was first starting out, um, the blender pens were really great because I didn't have all the, um, I didn't have, I didn't have the markers, but I started out getting the, um, the ink pads. So I just bought a set of these and then I could color in my images with my ink, like from the top of the lid. So that's how I started out. Um, and then I eventually got some of the markers. Um, now we have the blends. So we have a ton of different coloring options for you if you like to color. And um, I just wanted tonight to showcase um, the blend, the blender pens, um, because I think we have so many new cool stuff. It's kind of fun to go back in, in uh, to what we started because these are a really great tool as well. Um, okay, um, I, I brought you this tonight because I was asked again by some customers um, how to use these and why you would want them. So if you, if anyone else watching has a question or um, how do you use this or why would I want this, um, let me know so I can go over that as well. Um, and next week I will have a different, uh, I'll have a project to show you and uh, maybe a different technique if anybody else has a question. But if you have any other questions about the blender pens, let me know. Um, let me know and uh, I will answer you. And again, if you have um, a need to, uh, to order anything, you wanna get these for a stocking stuffer for yourself, maybe for somebody else, um, 
these are a great gift and they're only 12 bucks for a package of they come in three so okay have a great night um everybody thank you for watching commenting and please share if you haven't done so yet and i will see you next wednesday um and if you want to come to my last live class of the year it's december 17th next monday and i have two times at 11 a.m. or 6.30 p.m., and it's an all-occasion class. So I hope to see you there, um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.